Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope you guys are in the mood to watch more Buffy the Vampire Slayer with me. Uh, I think we're on episode 9. I want to say that this season goes to episode 12, so we're rounding the corner. We're almost finished the season. Uh, out of the last two episodes that I watched last time, I really enjoyed Angel. I enjoyed getting to know that character a little bit more. I probably should have seen it coming that he was a vampire because he was a very mysterious character with like there was just no explanation whatsoever around his appearances so i should have assumed that there was something dubious in that but i didn't really honestly so it was nice to have that confirmed that he is in fact a vampire but i think he's also like not completely a vampire or something like that i don't totally remember honestly anyways i'm sure as the show goes on we will just continue to learn more about him um we also had an episode that dealt with um like computers and a computer getting pretty much possessed by a demon or something of the like uh that was actually kind of a fun episode too I always like watching shows from like the 90s or the early 2000s um, because I feel like a lot of these shows have a dedicated like computer or internet episode and it just feels like a little bit of history to see where we were at um, in the digital age back then because yeah, obviously things since then have just absolutely exploded so it is always fun to have a little look back and see how things were anyways today i will be watching two episodes of, B of buffy the vampire slayer with you guys i'm very excited obviously you guys will not see the next one until next week <sighs> but you'll see this one now so that's kind of all that matters i guess anyways let me not delay any further as i have two episodes of this to watch and also four episodes of community so it's gonna be a long day of filming so let's just get started I will be whole. I will be new. <sighs> Learning to love yourself is the greatest love mm -hmm. of all. Not quite Whitney Houston. Never to walk in anyone's shadow. <laughs> Giles's face. Thank you, Cordelia. That was a bold choice. A very, very bold choice. If it isn't the great producer. Had to see this to believe it. Oh, you three. The school. <laughs> Ever did you finagle such a primo assignment? Our new Fira, Mr. Snyder. He thought it would behove me to have more contact with the students. I did try to explain that my vocational choice of librarian was a deliberate attempt to minimize said contact but uh... <laughs> giles into every generation is born one who must run the annual talentless show <laughs> you cannot escape your That's destiny funny. if you had a, a shred of decency you would have participated or at least um helped nah. <laughs> <laughs> principal snyder so we think school events are stupid and we think authority figures ought to be made fun of no no we don't well, unless you do uh... <laughs> Real antisocial types. You need to integrate into this school, people. I think I just found three eager new participants for the talent show. Hmm. What? Was this a thing at anybody's high school? I feel like I see this storyline play out in several TV shows where, like, teachers or principals are like, you need to participate more. But I don't think that that was ever... I mean, maybe it was a concern of the staff, but if you weren't participating in, like, extracurriculars... I don't think anyone gave a fuck, honestly. I know the three of you will come up with a wonderful act at school to watch. And mock. And laugh. At. <laughs> I mean, they're teenagers. What else do you expect? No. Uh, uh, <laughs> I wonder what their talents is gonna be. They should like slay something on stage. Thank you. That'll show him. Eh, dummy. <laughs> Dow! I think dummies are cute. You don't? Uh, give me the wig. Ever since I was little. What happened? 
I saw a dummy, it gave me the wig. There really was a story there. <laughs> Hi, I'm Morgan. And I'm Sid. Hmm, Morgan. Hey, Morgan. What You're you a little sus right now. Or at least the way that they're framing him makes him seem sus. It's also a wood nose and a wood mouth. <laughs> 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 All right, time out. Let's stop this before someone gets hurt. Did you are the worst. Even I can see your lips move. Oh, is that not him? And they're edible. <laughs> hmm. I feel like his mouth was moving before when he was talking for the dummy. This time it's not. I'm sure you three can come up with something equally exciting. Yeah. Is anybody there? like the wording of that. <laughs> if I went to the school, I would be transferring at this point. Like something messed up happens every single week and students are dying left and right. It's kind of funny, honestly, to me that nobody really questions all the supernatural shit that is happening around them. To be fair, not everyone knows that it's super ha natural occurrences that are happening, but at the very least, like weird things are happening and nobody ever questions it. They're just like, yeah, this is normal. This is uh, Sunnydale or whatever the school's called again. Oh. Has anybody seen a rabbit? <laughs> I can't do this. Sandra, come on. I, I can't. What am I gonna do? Slay vampires on stage? Yes. Maybe in a funny way. <laughs> uh, the piano. You play? A little. You could accompany us and we could attempt to sing. Oh, in front of other people? Ten. No, I don't play. <laughs> Whatever happened to Corporal Punch? <laughs> Morgan, you're really getting good. It's kind of an imitation of my dad. Sounds real. It is real. I'm the one with the talent here. The kid. Is his dad in there or something? Uh, hey. You know what they say. Once you go wood, nothing's as good. <laughs> Kids today need discipline. Popular word these days, discipline. I know Principal Flutie would have said, Kids need understanding. Kids are human beings. <laughs> This place has quite a reputation. Suicide, missing persons, spontaneous cheer. Well, at least they're acknowledging it now. Gotta keep an eye on the bad element, like those three. Kids. I don't like them. <laughs> From now on, you're gonna see a very different Sunnydale High. A tight ship. Clean, order. Somehow I doubt it. Somehow I doubt it. That's a pretty impressive scream. I don't think I could do that. It was Emily. Emily? Dancer Emily? Vampire? Um, I think not. Giles, share what happened. Her heart was removed. Oh, that's horrifying. There are various demons which, which feed off human hearts, but... Demons oh my god. I love how the students in the background are just like kind of chilling. Like nobody's really that affected that they have another dead classmate, except for this lot. Remember the hell map? Mystical activity is totally rife here. This to me says demon. I'd like to think you're right. The creep factor is also heightened. It could be anyone. It could be me. <laughs> it's not though. <laughs> I suggest we start with your, your talent show compatriots. One of them may have been the last to see her alive. I didn't know her too well. There's that whole dancer band rivalry, you know? Heard about that. But I did speak to her a little the day that. A dancer band rivalry? Why on earth would those two groups be rivaling? Do you remember the last time you saw her? She was talking to someone. Who? That smart guy, the one with the dummy? If it was like band and like choir or something, like that would make more sense to me. But band and dance, you guys are kind of separate. Such a tragedy for me. 
Emma was like my best friend. Emily. Ugh. Cordelia, jeez. Looking around at everyone, and I think I saw him arguing with his dummy. All I can think is, it could have been me. <laughs> we can dream. <laughs> right now, you and me gotta be on the lookout. Figure out who's gonna be next. How are we supposed to? Uh, you just gave I... up the game. Hello. This is a I bad. Was just working place on to be having my this voice. conversation. Uh, Morgan, did you notice anything weird oh, going I guess on around here yesterday? Sid and I were talking. Talking. Rehearsing. So you didn't notice anything weird at? Oh. Morgan, are you okay? Look, sweetheart. He <laughs> answered your question. Now leave him alone. Okay, Morgan, how about talking to me yourself now? He said all he's gonna say. Do you not even see that his mouth is absolutely closed? You can't throw your voice with a mouth closed. I'm sorry, look, I didn't mean to make you mad. It's him. He's... We have to go. Well, what do we do? We... Don't slam, right? We want to bring him to justice. We could set up a complex sting operation where we get him to confess. I should wear a wire. Whoa, hey, hmm. you can't. <laughs> Morgan is a grade A large weirdo. That doesn't lead directly to murderer. Guy talks to his puppet. And for okay, but he clearly seemed a bit distressed when he was talking to you, Buffy. Oh, it's a demon theory. I'm looking into that, but uh, my investigation is somewhat. And this wouldn't be the first time a supernatural being like went through a human to do something or disguise themselves as a human. Before that, we will find this murderer, but in the meantime, the show must go on. Buffy, you uh, watch Morgan. Check his locker, see if there's anything there. Like a heart? <laughs> or something. <laughs> okay, two to the left, three to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Principal Snyder. What are you doing? There are things I will not tolerate. Students loitering on campus after school. Horrible murders with hearts being removed. And also smoking. Oh, I don't do any of those things. There's something going on with you. I'll figure it out sooner or later. Okay, this principal is also a weirdo. I wonder if he has anything to do with the murder. Hmm. He must have taken it and just forgotten to tell me. Mm -hmm. Get along home now. It's late. No, I can't do it. It's the only way. She's the one. But you saw what she did, how strong she is. I know, but... She's the last. Just this one more and I'll be free. I won't. I will. How's it uh, going with the talent show? I, for one, am looking forward to seeing your act. Seeing? In the sense of actually attending? Mm. Of course. Uh-uh, no, Mom. <laughs> Is there something bothering you? Nothing. There's just a lot going on right now. Well, get some sleep. You'll feel better in the morning. I feel like her mom takes everything on such a surface level. Oh my god. <laughs> Again, I feel like I mention this every single episode, but this show is very good at little jump scares like that. It's actually very good at them. It always gets me and it freaks me out every single time. Ugh. But back to what I was saying about her mom. Like her mom never like asks deeper questions. It's Kind of frustrating. Ah! Hey, what is it? In the bed, in the covers, there's something. Where? In the bed, in the covers, Mom. There's nothing there now. Are you sure you didn't have a nightmare? No, there's some. There is. Yeah. <sighs> Sweetheart, you shouldn't go to sleep with the window open. I didn't. Hmm. My song is about dignity and human feelings and personal hygiene or something. 
<laughs> I feel like Cordelia is almost more of a comic relief character. I mean, yeah, she's a bit of an antagonist, but I feel like they've mostly used her for comedy so far. And she's good at it. I think her actress's name is Charisma. Seems fitting. Where's Morgan? I've, I, I haven't seen him. Did he do something to you? Sid, the dummy. I think Sid was in my room last night. With Morgan? No, he was alone. It was like it pounced on my face. Like a cat? Yeah, exactly. But when I turned the lights on, it was already gone. I, I think it went out my window. Like a cat? Yeah, no, it was Sid. The Don't. Well, possibly the nightmare of somebody who had dummies on her mind. Guys, you guys, did something creepy guys. Well. Excuse me, guys. can I have a little support here, please? Yeah. I'm not just some crazy person. I'm the slayer. Exactly. The dummy slayer? There's nothing <laughs> funny about that. <laughs> uh. I'd like to see Morgan without his better half for a few minutes. Bet he could tell me something. I may have found a possible demon culprit. There's this uh, reference in here to a brotherhood of seven demons who take uh, the form of young humans. Every seven years, these demons need human organs, a, a brain and a heart, to maintain their humanity. Otherwise, they, they, they oh, revert gosh. back to their original form. So Morgan oh, could still be the god. Well, except that these demons are, are, are preternaturally strong, and, and Morgan is... is but he seems to be getting weaker every day. Which, in one sense, established the U.S. as a local peacekeeper. Also, did you guys have teachers who walked around the classroom and taught? I feel like every one of my teachers just stayed at the blackboard, which is totally fine. That's not a slight against my teachers. I just, I feel like you always see that also in movies and television. Policy. Yeah, I'm with you. Morgan? Morgan? What? Morgan has other things on his mind. <laughs> Give me your puppet. I'll put him away. Oh. He'll get it back after school. The puppy is so creepy. I'm still watching you. <laughs> Morgan, that Guys. is enough. Nobody can throw their voice that well. <laughs> Mrs. Jackson. Morgan. You said you'd give me... Oh, of course. It's gone. Gone? <laughs> what do you mean, gone? He knew to wait for me. He knew I'd be back. Where is he? Why does Xander have him? Why Xander? Did he find Xander or did Xander go find him? Mrs. Jackson's cupboard. I thought you said you wanted to be able to speak to Morgan alone. And, uh, well, Morgan's alone and uh, sits with me. <sighs> Xander, Xander, Xander. Would you like to hear some off-color jokes? Really don't think you should be doing that. What? Come on. I am not real. Xander, quit it. He's not real. Oh, that uh, Sid is Wood. Now, why don't you go find Look, Morgan and prove he's whatever he is. In any other circumstance, like if Xander was a person that didn't know about the existence of the Slayer and vampires and all of this shit, then yeah, this would be a fine response to things, right? Because you would understand. Like, who would expect a puppet to be alive? Given the world that we are in, given the fact that we know that this is Hellmouth, like, I don't understand why people have such a hard time believing Buffy and being so reckless about the things that she is saying. So I guess it's just you and me, huh? That looks more comfortable. <laughs> is it gonna turn its head back? I feel like it is. Morgan! Okay, no, it didn't. Principal Snyder. Looking for something? You know, with everything that's been going on recently, I'm not sure how safe it is for a girl like yourself to be here. 
alone. Well, I was just leaving. And I know how to take care of myself. But this guy is just so sketchy. It's eyes, like something is gonna turn. Something has to turn. On rare occasions, inanimate objects of human quality, such as dolls and mannequins, have acted upon their desire to become human by harvesting organs. Emily's heart. Morgan's dummy. What? He's gone. Sid's gone. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that him? Morgan. Oh my gosh. I feel like the principal's gonna be here. Oh, do I feel like we're about to turn into the principal again? Oh. Well, she is lucky that she landed perfectly between those two spike-like things. If there's ever out there, I'm gonna hurt you. Badly. If you'll just give me a minute. <laughs> oh. My god. That is so creepy. Win. Now you can take your heart and your brain and move on. I'm sure they would have made great trophies for your case. That would have been justice. Yeah, except for one thing. You lost, and now you'll never be human. Yeah, well, neither will you. What does that mean? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Let's just say there was me. There was a really mean demon. There was a curse. And the next thing I know, I'm not me anymore. And ever since then, you've been a living dummy? The kid here was right all along. I should have picked you to team up with, but I didn't because... Because you thought I was the demon. Who can blame me for thinking? Mm, gotcha. Now that this demon's got the heart and brain, he gets to keep the human form he's in for another seven years. There were seven of these guys. I've killed six. If I can get the last one, the curse will be lifted and I'll be free. Is the I'm last one the principal? Okay, um, start pulling everyone's addresses in the talent show. If they're not there, maybe we can catch them at home. And you, get them all on stage, form the power circle. Then we can see who's a no-show. Um, the what? The power circle. You get everyone together, you get them, you know, revved up. Right. <laughs> What if I mess up? Cool, Dee, uh, there, there's a, an adage uh, that um, if you're feeling nervous, then uh, you should imagine the entire audience are in their underwear. Ew! <laughs> Even Mrs. Franklin? Especially Mrs. Franklin. I'm a vampire slayer. You? You're the slayer? I knew a slayer in the 30s. Korean chick. Very hot. Where to? <laughs> so... You kill the demon, and the curse is lifted, right? That's the drill. You don't actually turn into a prince, do you? I, I mean, your body... Is dust and bones. Mm. When I say free... You mean dead. Dead, yeah. Is, is everybody here? I think so. This is a random observation, but I like that um, Buffy has arm hair. I feel like in shows now... Women never have arm hair. Just an observation. No one's missing. So the demon isn't in the show. It seems not. Uh, tell the others. Look at it. It's the principal. Right. Right. The only other person who has been focused on at all this episode. And the most sus one at that. What was that? What is that? Oh. Ew. 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 
didn't like that. Ugh. You're never gonna stop washing my hands. So the dummy yeah. tells us that he's a demon. I wouldn't either. And we're like, fine, la 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 la. He takes <laughs> off, and now there's a brain. Does anybody else feel like they've been Kaiser Sosate? But why would the demon have rejected the brain? I, I mean, I thought Morgan was the smartest kid in school. He was. Look at his grades. All A's. He was even taking college classes. Hmm. Wait a second. What? All these sick days. He was out for like half the year. Check the school nurse's file. Look at this. In case of emergency, contact Dr. Dale Liggett, California Institute of Neurosurgery, cancer ward. Brain cancer? Oh. This means that whatever's out there still needs a healthy, intelligent brain. In other words, I'm... Huh. And it's going to be looking for the smartest person around. You're very safe, Xander. What? <laughs> what could a demon possibly want from me? What's the square root of 841? It's going to be Giles, isn't it? They're gonna go out to Giles, aren't they? Ooh! Oh my. He's guillotined a melon? <laughs> uh... You won't have to say anything, I'll show you. Lie down. A good magician never tells his secrets. That's like an actual. Oh my god. Come on, we haven't got much time. This is ridiculous. That's like an actual weapon. It's not like a fake guillotine. That's like a real guillotine he has on school grounds. Okay, so we ruled out all the people in the talent show. That's because they were all there. But that's before we found the brain. Right. So it probably is one of them. <sighs> and Giles doesn't know it. He's with them all right now. And Giles can handle himself. I mean, he is really... Smart? Smart. Absolutely not. You just saw this slice of melon right in half. And your brains just come pouring out. Mm. Exactly. I question I question how smart you are now, Giles, honestly. <laughs> Mark? Mark? <sighs> I mean, still, I can't believe that Giles even got in that. Mark got it. Willow. Literally saw it slice a melon clean in half. Like, that's... What do you think that that's going to do to your head? I'm sorry. What's happening? Uh, this is so creepy looking. I found you! Yeah, the sound effects. Let go! Ooh. I must say, all of you, your t timing is impeccable. <laughs> and now for the big finish. What are you doing? It's not enough. You have to get the heart. Then all of this will be over. Oh my god. Let me. I got it. <sighs> Kind of funny imagery. This little puppet. It's over. Who pulled the curtains? Oh dear God. <laughs> he looks I horrified. Don't get it. <laughs> what is it? Avant garde? <laughs> oh, that was a funny ending. A ruler of my country. Oh, wow. It's you see our company around the altar, and I, the priest of Zeus. I think like this is the first time they've done like a scene after. I don't even know if I'd call this an after credit, but maybe like a tag? I don't know. Madness and stabbing pain and. and um, oh, oh. Memory of uh, ill. You force them to enter. <laughs> all right so we just finished episode nine of season one i believe we have three more episodes left of this season i thought this episode was pretty okay i definitely have others so far that i liked more but 
again, I feel like what carries this show, for me at least at the moment, is that I think that the, the script is really clever and funny, and I also think that it's a well-acted show. I feel like Sarah Michelle Gellar is a great leading lady. She's very just like charismatic. I'm a little bit shocked, honestly, still that the anointed one has not shown up at all. I feel like at this point it's been mm, like four episodes since we found out that it was the child and they keep teasing it, but I think that we've gotten a, quite a few episodes now of kind of like monster of the week. Um, type conflicts and I'm wondering when we're going to get back to the I guess bigger threat. I really thought that the principal was the one who was being a bit of a sketchball this episode and I guess it was kind of a red herring. You know they wanted the audience probably to suspect the principal and have it be actually this other character. Um, I do find that fun, honestly, when it's not always the most obvious answer. And I think that Buffy has done that a few times where I think I know what's happening and I'm actually just completely wrong. So that's always fun, honestly, as a viewer. I kind of like being wrong. I mean, there is something satisfying about being right. Like, you feel good about yourself. You feel like you have good deductive reasoning skills and it kind of, like, strokes your ego, you know? But... I think as just a viewer, it is almost more fun to be wrong. So yeah, I thought that this was an okay episode. Not the best, but still fun, still funny, um, and still enjoyable. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this video here and get into the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this with me today and I will see you guys later. Bye.